Never ever have I spent that much time on a felting project. I like this dragon we made, but I can do so much better if I had just more than three hours. So we're gonna test it out. Can I really do so much better or is it just my big ego? Am I not as good as I think I am? What's that? That's the best I can do. <laughs> no, that can't be it. That, that, it, it can't. Will this be way too much or way too little time? We're gonna know now. Oh, I started it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm scared. I want the eyeballs to be special, to be actual eyeballs indeed. Oh my god, did I mention that felting is pretty time intensive? I think the new dragon will have like double the length of the old dragon. That way we can just get so many more details down there and I really want those details this time. In 30 minutes we managed to do two eyes. That's so little. <laughs> we'll start with the head now. And because salting with one needle is way too tedious for bigger things like a head, I got a new equipment. And actually one of my viewers suggested it, so thank you very much. I've never tried this before, so I'm not sure how this will go. Oh. I already broke one needle. Let's grab some color. I like this tone the most. We're gonna go with this one. I made a survey. I asked you red dragon or blue dragon. What looks cooler? You all said blue dragon. I mean, the color scheme I had for the red dragon. It was pretty red too. <laughs> pretty red, <laughs> you know. I really, really love the color of this dragon. Oh my God. So I'm not disappointed in the least. And yeah, this, this dragon will be awesome. We're gonna make the body now because already one hour passed without me noticing it. And oh my God, we have to up our speed a little bit. So this is gonna be the main body. Oh my God, you see how small this already gets? No, it broke again. I'm going too violently here, I guess. <sighs> this tool is good for one thing, breaking my needles. <laughs> oh, damn. Another one bites the dust. So I'm a self-taught felting artist. That means I don't always know what's best to do, to be honest. So I thought this time I wouldn't have any time pressure, but 24 hours is nothing. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, this time lapse is a little bit fast. I admit it. I can't see I, I can't see what's happening here either. <laughs> we spent three hours. I used up almost all of my white and this is all of the blue I have left from my dragon tone. It could be enough for the rest because I already covered everything in blue. Oh, it's not gonna be double the length. It's gonna be maybe triple the length. <laughs> It is the weekend now and what better time to keep working than the weekend. So, God, ouch. Why is there, oh my God, it's magnetic. I'm never safe, never. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of stressed this weekend so far. Just didn't have a very good start into the day, I guess. It's still kind of hard for me to relax right now. But yeah, I hope this project will help me. Because what is more relaxing than sitting there for hours and hours <laughs> and felting? I actually can't think of anything else. Today is pretty feet day because the dragon is getting pretty feet. <laughs> so maybe you're wondering why am I doing a dragon again? Dragons are like one of the coolest animals that exist. Uh, or don't exist, you know? <laughs> Actually, I think I've always been more interested in the animals that don't exist, to be honest. Unicorns, Pegasus, dragons. That were my favorite animals as a kid. And I don't know, maybe I just was always attracted to those magic things. So that is why you have to bear another dragon video. But after that, I promise you can suggest something and I will probably make it because I can't make dragons every video, right? <laughs> Right? I, I, I can't? What? 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 When? Uh, okay, when, why not? Uh, <laughs> I can't phrase it enough. I'm really, really enjoying myself. Even though it's a freaking long project. Oh my god, we only have this little wool left. And this is like nothing for this fat dragon here. I could clutch this on here and it, it just would be gone. Should I do the head, which doesn't require a lot of wool, or should I do the wings, 
the very edge of the wing is gonna be in blue wool. So, spoiler alert, I'm gonna try to make the wings. I don't want decorative wings, I want them to look functional, like the dragon could actually fly with them. So, it has to be big enough. And I will try to use this again. Just remove a couple of needles because I really feel like eight needles is a lot. I can barely work with that. Maybe half of them, ouch, <laughs> would be enough because I just still don't want to give up on this device this long. Yeah, four. Four works well, I would say. Now we have to turn it around because we don't want it to get too stuck in here. I mean, you already see what happens here. It's a mess. Yeah, it's not very stable at all. If I don't want them to hang floppy downstairs like that, I probably will have to add some iron in there. I really didn't want to do this, but I think I have to in order for it to look cool and as intended in the end. So we just have to try to get this inside here somehow. So at first I didn't want to add wire inside my dragon because I want it to be 100% plush and everything. If I add wire in there, it's not plush anymore. Sooner it is that one wire wouldn't be enough to support this big wing. So I wondered, oh gosh, what am I gonna do now? So I thought maybe it would be enough to just add some more wires inside the wing, where we also have those wing accents going down there, and maybe it just will hold. The whole wing, it's gonna look pretty much epic, all the way down to Epic Street. Well, that might be true. This still wasn't enough to support the whole wing, and we had to add two more wires to the front part of the wing, which wasn't very easy to do, to be honest. Throughout the whole project, I spent a lot of attention to not leaving any spiky ants anywhere, so the people who would touch my project wouldn't get hurt. Now I just had to do the exactly same thing and make another wing. That should be easy, right? Wait, is this the same color? <laughs> I made it in the wrong color. Look how samey they kind of look, but this is a little bit more rose-like. <sighs> I'm just stupid, huh? After this very valuable realization, I still managed to pull it off and make a completely identical wing. I think I look pretty good with wings. <laughs> They're so huge! Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> yeah, you're so funny. <laughs> I should make myself a costume out of wool. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Somebody in the comments will say, yeah, do that. No one, no one will say that. Why am I so mean to myself? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. The wing is so long, it's perfect. I'm pretty, pretty happy so far. I think it can only get better and we still have 14 hours left. We used all our blue wool up in the post. I'm stopping for today. Tomorrow I'll be going to visit my family, but I'm taking this little project with me because best art project ever, to be honest. <laughs> And my new wool is here. It's turquoise. Turquoise. And now we can finally finish the body and the wings, the head, everything. It wasn't hot because I just couldn't do it without the wool. It's so nice to be here again with my family. I'm hearing my father upstairs playing some piano. It's pretty re relaxing, to be honest. <laughs> half time now. We have this wing compared to this wing. This wing I worked on maybe an hour more. The right one is a little bit more finished, refined than this one. So we're gonna work on this one a little bit more. <laughs> I'm getting nervous because only for small improvements that you probably on camera won't even be able to see that much. I spent like two hours and <laughs> it's so easy to spend a lot of time on this because you just wanted to be stable, to look good on both sides. Actually, that's one of the main problems here with the wings. They're so thin. When you work on this side, it often happens that on the other side it gets kind of messy again. So I was dealing with that problem a lot. I fixed it a little bit by just applying very little pressure on the side I was working on. So that helped a little bit. That I don't have like dark brown traces here on the back where I don't want to have them. Why is my hair so messy? Looking better now? 
Looking better? Yeah, it's a new day and we have a lot to do today. I want to get this timer to three or to four hours because I don't have a ton of time tomorrow. Ow, now I'm awake again. <laughs> am I though? Am I? Oh no, I lost some steel in here and I don't like that. Did the dragon steal my steel? Should I? I swear, at this point I was so annoyed, I would have cut the dragon open just to retrieve the needle tip. But it wasn't possible. Yeah, well, that is that. Yeah, deal with it. Mm, it's happened again. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Why do I always do this? I can't get this out there anymore. <laughs> That's really frustrating. <coughs> You know what? I do need a break now. I'm gonna take it. I'm back now, but I still am feeling a little bit exhausted. I'm really trying to felt a lot today. Seven hours probably. And my motivation is starting to crumble a little. But that doesn't mean I'm not still excited about finishing this project. Let's hope to not break any more needles because ah, I don't want any more pointy things inside my plush dragon. I don't want that. No, 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 no! Let's continue with Harry Potter on my ears. <laughs> Two thirds into the challenge, it might seem like there's not a lot of stuff left to do for us. But actually, we worked two more hours only on the head. And then we started with the horns. Only six hours left. And I'm pretty, pretty nervous about that because the dragon parts are pretty far and everything. But I don't think we will be able to make a scales pattern how we initially planned to do. Yeah, I know. I'm also very disappointed. Also, I'm starting to have a little bit of a headache, to be honest. Like, literal headache. I really, really have to watch out to not lose myself too much into details, because at the end, all body parts still have to be connected and we have to finish this. The horns were quite interesting to work on. I didn't add any wire to them, so I had to twirl them with my hands and just hope they stay in that position. And of course, also help with my needle because it's needle felting, not uh, hand felting, you know. <laughs> you know. And then I felt like the time had come that we connect all the body parts. Afterwards, I improved the horns a little bit and worked on the other transitions of the body parts. After already having quit for that day, I still came back just to get some more minutes off this clock. It's night already. Four and a half hours left on our timer. I'm gonna work on this little thing for one more hour, I think. I kind of regret that I already put the wings on because now it's kind of hard to work on the little toes and everything. It's just all, everything a little bit harder now. But hey, I was afraid that we couldn't make it in the end and that it would all be too sloppy. It still probably was a good decision to do, even though it's a little bit annoying now to work with, but hey, <laughs> all right. I need these lights really close to me because at night I can't see what I'm doing here. Like, literally, not possible. I think I'm done for today. I'm dying of tiredness. It's 1 a.m. That's the best I can do. Morning. I had my alarm at 7 a.m. and I'm just gonna start now. <sighs> okay. Reaching the final three hours of the project, I finally started to wake up again. This was the last chance for me to finish this and make this as outstanding as I can. So I, I just took this. I, I took that opportunity. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm weird, I know. But seriously, did I brush my hair at all this morning? Reaching the final minutes of the project, I even discovered something I didn't expect to see at all. What's that? Oh, I found one of the lost needle tips. <laughs> That's so crazy. So, we only have one 
needle tip inside of the dragon head, not two. Yeah, that makes it so much better. I'm nervous. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Ah. Time's up. Woo! Woo! We did yes! it! Yes! Yay! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Yay! Look! I just still can't believe it. It was so much work. Oh, stop crying finally, would ya? But I think it was worth it. I call her Roxy. I really do love her. Oh, you're so cute. Mm. Okay, that's kind of, kind of wholesome. <laughs> uh. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thanks for being on this journey with me and if you like the video, consider subscribing. And now let's go to the showcase of the final product. <laughs> So what do you think? Was my ego too big? Was I able to fulfill your expectations? Let me know in the comments. And this video took me like three weeks to make, so please be friendly to me. <laughs> <laughs>